Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, we found the voltage across each of the three devices in an AC series circuit. The voltage across the resistor, across the capacitor, and across the inductor. And knowing that the voltage source has a magnitude of 50 volts, if we add these three voltages together, we get something much bigger than 50 volts. So something doesn't seem to add up correctly. But then we have to realize that, wait a minute, these maximum voltages occur at different phases. They have different phase angles. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the voltage of each of the three devices in terms of the real and imaginary portions. So in that case, we can say that V sub R can also be written as follows. So let's go ahead and take the cosine of 16.7 degrees, take the cosine of that, and multiply that times 47.9, and we get 45.88 volts in the real part, so that's 45.88. And then we're going to have minus J. Now take the sine of that, negative 16.7, take the sine and multiply that times 47.9, and that gives us a minus 13.76. 13.76. So notice there's a real and an imaginary part. If we take the voltage across the capacitor, we can do the same thing. So we have a minus 106.7 degrees. Now to get a good feel for that, let's go ahead and draw the phase, the phasers of the three voltages here. So let's draw the axes. There's the imaginary axis. There's the real axis. And the voltage across the resistor will have a phase angle of minus 16.7 degrees and it'll be magnitude of 47.9. So that will look something like this. So there we have the voltage across the resistor with a phase angle of negative 16.7 degrees. Negative 16.7 degrees. There we go. Now the voltage across the capacitor has a phase angle of minus 106.7. It's only 4.79. So that has a right angle to this. So it looks like this, and that would be the voltage across capacitor, and there you can see that the phase angle would be a minus 106.7 degrees. And now the phase, the voltage across the inductor have a phase angle of a positive 73.3, which is a right angle with this one as well, so directly like this, 19.6 volts. So this is, uh, let's make this a little bit shorter, so like that. And that would be V sub L, and the angle from there to there would be a positive 73.3 degrees. Sometimes by drawing the phasers, it gives you a better feel for how to write the voltage in terms of the real and imaginary parts. Notice that the real part will have a negative value, and so will the imaginary part will have a negative value as well. So 106.7, take the cosine of that, and multiply that times 4.79, that gives us a minus 1.38, minus, so minus 1.38, and minus J, take the sine of 106.7, and uh, take the sine of that, and multiply it times 4.79, times 4.79 equals, that's 4.59, a negative 4.59 and then finally the voltage across the inductor is going to be equal to 73.3 take the cosine of that and multiply it times 19.16 that gives us 5.51 5.5 uh, let's write a 5.50 close enough and that will be plus j 73.3, take the sine of that and multiply it times 19.16, and that will be 18.35, and that's positive, 18.35. All right, now let's go ahead and add the three voltages together. So once you have it in this format, the total voltage, that's the same as the source voltage, will be equal to, when we add this together, let's see here, hmm. Uh, 45.88 minus 1.38 plus 5.5, we get 50 volts in the real part, and plus J, when we add that together, we get a minus 13.76, and we get 
zero in the imaginary part. So notice that the total voltage across all three components, when you add them up, by you only adding the real parts and the imaginary parts together like that, you get the exact same voltage as the source, which is 50 volts with a zero phase angle. So you can see that things do add up correctly if we follow the right process. And so now you can see that, yes indeed, when you add all the voltages of all the three components, you take into account that there's a phase difference between them, then you get the right result saying the total voltage across the capacitors, or I should say the total voltage drop, drops across all the devices in the circuit will equal the voltage of the source in an AC series circuit. And that's how it's done.